Hello, I'm Toy Cat, and welcome back to another third channel video, probably. I don't know, I just want to put something together because I'm feeling down, but I'm doing a lot of travel, and that should make me feel up. And at the very least, it's me doing something, so I figured I'd share it here on the internet. I'm traveling around a lot of the US over the next couple of days, and I figured you want to see it because I like to travel interesting things. They're interesting to me at least, maybe not to anyone else. So something that is super New York that I'm obviously not going to take a picture of doing for obvious reasons are these giant staircases leading up to a house that people then just sit on. I find it interesting. So something interesting about the surroundings of JFK Airport is the fact that it seems to be just suburbs, which is kind of strange to see given how America usually urbanizes. But as you can see, plains, suburbs, very European. I don't know how anyone can have a bad time while they're on a travelator. There's just something so satisfying can bring a smile to any day. Okay, so the whole reason for this trip is a little bit of a plain nerdy one, but wide-body aircraft are basically exclusively used on international flights. They have very different seating configurations and setups, and uh, everything is very different about it. And so if you're a plane nerd, it's exciting to see one on a domestic flight, because right now there's not a lot of international flying happening, so they might as well use them for something. And so this 777 is the plane down to Miami. I'm excited to board it. Did you know you don't get lounge access when flying domestically? Unless you've got status of an airline other than American Airlines. Which is why today I'm in the American Lounge. Very pretty. Very empty too, which makes sense given the whole international thing. So it probably goes without saying, but getting a seat that looks like this on a domestic flight is not a common occurrence that I'm now very excited for. <laughs> a good way to measure an airplane seat is by the number of windows, and this individual thing has one, two, three. <laughs> Pretty nutty, huh? This is far too grand a staircase to be going up in an airport, but I'm here in Miami connecting flights and apparently walking up nice staircases. Isn't that something just fascinating about this? No, nope, just me? Okay. Miami Airport is a weird airport for a lot of reasons, but I think walking to a plane is another one of those. <laughs> Seriously, if you think I'm joking, here is my plane and here is the walk. I can say with pretty close certainty I've never seen this on a plane. What the heck? <laughs> I'm not a bug fan. Yeah, I'm not sure I want this to be honest. I'm gonna, gonna try and Appreciate it, man. push that away maybe. Oh, oh god. Oh god. I am in Alabama now. I'm in the great city of Birmingham. But something that annoys me about Birmingham is the fact that what is this curtain? Seriously, what is going on with this? I'm so annoyed. First of all, having a hotel room on the ground floor sucks anyway. But having a hotel room on the ground floor where all you have is this and you try so hard and it's late at night and you're just confused uh, is even worse. Why even have it there? Look at this. It's covering not a window. It's covering a... What is the point of any of this? I don't understand. And so all night I had uh, the fear that people would be looking at me. Ruin my whole sleep. But you know what didn't ruin my whole sleep? Explore in Alabama. And by exploring, I mean checking it out for a day. Look, it's a tunnel, but the tunnel changes color every few seconds. This is referred to on Google Maps as a point of interest. And isn't it interesting, internet? I think it was worth coming all the way here for, personally. I love the old industrial parts of cities that do stuff like this. This seems to be part of a building that looks like a, a railway thing. Very cute, very nice. I like seeing old industrial parts of cities. I feel like Birmingham is one of these cities that used to be very big, and it has all this old stuff that they're slowly turning into new things, which in some number of years will then look like old things themselves and then be knocked down again and replaced. Isn't it beautiful? I think it is. Like for real, look at this stuff right here. Isn't this somewhere you want to live? This looks very Russian. I know it's just an Orthodox church, but it's very strange actually. Didn't spot it till just now. But yeah, Birmingham, Alabama apparently gets my industrialized city vibes going. The other thing that I need to do in the South, of course, is food. They understand my need for very, 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 very deep fried things. And so this is catfish 
and some fries, if I'm not mistaken, and some coleslaw, because you always get coleslaw, apparently. And um, it's really interesting, because I didn't realize until the person said it to me, like, uh, so where are you from? And I was like, from London. It's like, oh, fish and chips. And it's like, huh, I guess I'm not immune from that thing, where apparently, you know, I can pretend I want different things all I like, but this is exactly what I'm used to back home. And so everyone just likes what they like, but a little different. Even when you think you're getting something so different, you're just getting the same thing. And so let me try some southern fish and chips, I guess. It does taste very similar, but like with that southern friedness, much better. Honestly, southern fried better than regular fried, has to be said. You know, sometimes you walk down the street and all you can think is, why? Why did someone do this? Was it their chair? Did they find a chair and they put the chain around it? Did they? You know, just none of it makes any sense. Speaking of things that don't make sense, you can see some of the rundownness of it when you look at places like this. And there's something so cool about destroyed buildings, because you get to see on the inside from the outside. And you know what? I'm just saying, all buildings should be destroyed. All cities should look like Birmingham, as they call it here. And uh, yeah, this walk is very hot. It's 31 degrees and humid and I'm dying. I am now aboard a 35 minute flight to Atlanta, and I'm flying with Delta, as you might guess by that. I've said this before and I'll say it again, but like, inside the US, you even fly a budget airline for you fly Delta. L look at this. For a 35 minute flight, there's screens on the seats. What's the point? I don't know, but it's fun. But yeah, gonna enjoy my flight in the middle seat, I guess. I'm in Chicago, except you can't really tell, because it's just an airport. An airport with a surprisingly low ceiling, so... Okay, now I'm in Chicago. Oh, still not doing it. Okay, I'm hoping this looks like Chicago though. Here I am in the windy city. It's actually very hot and not windy in the slightest. Actually, I visited in the winter and it was pretty bad. So it's probably somewhere between right now and the heat and the, the blistering cold uh, that you should visit here. I know it's a bit of a meme at this point that Toy Cat can describe the world based on places he has girlfriends. However, Chicago, I didn't actually have a girlfriend from here. I went on a date with a girl here once, and the date was so bad that I made a video uh, like a year after, and then that video I was so embarrassed of that I never released. And so for years I've had the worst date, but <laughs> second worst date ever story, because I did upload the worst date ever, and that's where the idea came from. I don't hold it against the city, but like everything I know about the city, I did experience with the, uh, with the, with a girl from Illinois. You know, there's a fun story about all of that, isn't there? I planned my trip so I'd have enough time to get some Chicago pizza in, in my little stop, bring it on my train maybe, but apparently it takes 40 minutes to make, which I wouldn't have guessed. Anyway, speaking of things you might not have guessed, I actually have one other Chicago memory, and it was uh, either just before or just after the date, and I was going to the convenience store. I think I got some fruit, you know, I was being very healthy, and uh, as I walk out of the convenience store, the guy's like, hey, can I have some change? And I'm like, nah. And he's like, can I have some food then? And like, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know why I said, sure. But he looked for my bag, just saw my fruit, and was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> and I don't know why I find that funny. But Chicago, it's a good city. I need to come back. I really do. So I've literally never been on a sleeper train before today, and I wanted to show you around because I think it's the coolest thing. Because get this, it's not only two seats opposite each other if you want to have a conversation, it's also a toilet if you'd believe it. And then there's a sink over here, which is already nutty enough, a toilet, a sink, and a couple chairs. You're set for a, for, for a while there, but then get this, up here, there's a bed so you can sleep. And then you can even look at the view while you're sleeping if you really want. I don't know, it's insane to me. It's it's a really well laid out little system given how much space there is. And I enjoyed my stay here. So one of the problems that Amtrak trains are apparently notorious for is being delayed because they don't own the tracks most of the time. And so I've been sat with this beautiful view for about, oh, <laughs> it was 20 minutes and it stopped for the moment I made, made the video. Perfect. You don't just complain about things more and they go away. That is the life lesson here. Okay, right here, this is the moment. This is this is why you want to be on a train. Because when it goes around a corner, it looks so cool. Look, at the train's over there, but it's also over here. How's that possible? The power of curves is how. And so after an hour and a bit stop, the train is magically moving again. I mean, it's not magic, it's locomotion. Which is a full of magic if you think about it. Steel on steel and the lack of force that it needs. Anyway, I'm on train, going to New York. I'm here, by the way, to get some lunch. This is what it looks like. I mean, 
This is technically a salad. This is technically a dessert. Wait, is it? I would argue this is technically not a dessert, but <laughs> whatever. I'm like an hour away now, and you can see civilization is slowly returning. Honestly, it's been going in and out. It's mostly just, you know, rich suburbs. But now there's like real things living here, right? So get this, up there is actually a prison. And they run the train line right through it. Very strange. And just like that, I am here in New York. And it only took me, because of a little bit of a delay, uh, about 21 hours, which is really good time when you think about it, because the flight might only take two hours, but then it takes a little bit of time to get to the airport. So we had, let's say 45 minutes uh, for each side. Then you want to wait like an hour before security. And then it's only 15 and a half hours than taking the train anyway. I don't know why you wouldn't. I'm sorry about the mask thing. Everyone gets so mad about it. You know, you don't even have to wear masks anymore. So, you know what? Is this better? Is this better? You like that? Okay, no. Uh, let's go see New York. Okay, this is much more like it. Jesus, this is a fancy train station. This is Monihan train hall. Daniel Patrick Monihan. Is it Moynihan? It's Moynihan. You know what, let's end this video of another mistake. Okay, finally, here we are in actual New York. Do I recommend the train journey in all seriousness? Like, probably. It was, it was kind of nice, I'd say. Um, is it worth the money? No. Is it a good idea? Uh, unless you value the train journey, or you're going from very specific points to points. Uh, not a good idea. Will I do it again? Probably not for a while, but I do look forward to my next time anyway. But you know what else I look forward to being? Back here in New York. That was two days of entirely unnecessary travel. And you can't even be mad anymore. You have to go back to the environment as your excuse. No more killing your grandma. Or well, probably. You know, someone's going to just comment it anyway because they live somewhere where you still can't travel. But I am American for the next 30 days. And so I follow the, their rules. And you know, no killing grandma allowed over here. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this third channel video. I don't know why I made it, but goodbye. It's pretty wacky when people picture the subway. They don't usually picture a station looking like this. Do you think the bodies know that if they were buried somewhere, a train would be running through all these years later? I like to believe they did.